Hi everyone, here is Alexander and uh, today I'm testing and reviewing a Norton Internet Security 2011. Uh, this is the latest version and uh, here is the very nice interface. It was updated 5 seconds ago and um, over here you have um, many lines of protections. Inside protection, antivirus, anti-spyware, sonar protection and if you go to inside protection to details I will show you that uh, you have a Norton community and um, those green are the group of the files that are known to be good so uh, they have a high level of trust in the middle you have a group of files that uh, are building their reputation right now at the moment and um, on the on the right uh, side you have a group of files that are known to be malicious and bad so um, they are almost um, twen 28 million files and uh, that's a very very big database of known malicious uh, files in Norton community and that's good I guess Norton should recognize um, every one of of these bad files I'm guessing and um, beside the antivirus you have a sonar protection and uh, that's um, that is a um, behavior blocker for Norton um, let's say antivirus miss something and um, sonar should came up and say um, no this is not good file and um, I will remove this from my system Okay, you have firewall, intrusion prevention, email protection. You also have safe surfing, and uh, this safe surfing w works for uh, uh, Mozilla and uh, Internet Explorer. Today I, I will test Norton with uh, Mozilla Firefox. You have a Norton toolbar over here, safe web. So. Um, let's go to settings everything is um, everything is very good configured by default so I will leave it just like it is um, for those who use this program I recommend to change one settings and uh, that would be um, let me see enable boot time protection is on normal so I recommend to move this on uh, aggressive because um, if you when you when you boot up your your machine uh, Norton will um, load before any other uh, virus and um, that should uh, help you in um, in preventing and removing them so that's good feature. I will I will leave that now on normal, and um, that's it. Uh, I think we are ready for the test. Let's check uh, memory usage. It uses um, right now 20, 28, um, 28 megs of RAM. Usually it's on 22, 23. So that's a uh, very light for security suite. And um, Norton used to be uh, a heavy, especially version 2008 or 2009, but now it's light. So over here I have uh, 12 uh, malicious links, fresh. And um, let's start testing. Um, first one is a uh, downloader. Trojan downloader. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let's see. Probably dead. <coughs> and the second one is um, Trojan TDSS. And the malicious website blocked. But uh, I will continue anyway because I want to test uh, antivirus engine continue anyway and um, it blocked again web page okay maybe it's dead here is the next is a 
Trojan and uh, let's see it blocked the web page but anyway it let me to download this file and uh, that's that's uh, one thing that I don't like about Norton so that let's download this and um, let's run it and Norton is analyzing now and it says morph.exe is safe okay let's run this file I don't think it's safe let's go to um, task manager and um, I don't see malicious processes running over here so let's just continue um, here is a fake AV save this file let's wait for Norton to analyze this sometimes it, it took um, almost 30 seconds sometimes 40 and um, it uses a um, hundred percent of CPU and uh, that's not good and it found as a threat okay next is a uh, Trojan save this it blocked a web page but um, still it uh, let me download that and uh, let's see what Norton says about this file it's analyzing and uh, threat found okay let's view the details there it is suspicious cloud so it also has a cloud scanner and the uh, next one is um, I don't know which one maybe this and uh, page is dead let's go to this Zeus and um, website block but I will continue the site anyway and uh, again Norton is analyzing and the threat found okay it was uh, quarantined I guess and uh, next they improved their uh, signatures a lot from the previous version 2010 and um, here is the next one let's see what Norton says and threat found that's good so very good job so far it missed only one but I don't see it in the memory Norton is a corporation from uh, California and um, it was found in it, it was founded in uh, 90, uh, 1984 so 20 25 no 25 26 years ago
a long time ago and the uh, thread found again okay here's one exploit and the uh, website blocked but I will continue anyway and uh, it's dead okay another exploit website blocked okay let's continue let me check my time okay I should hurry next is a Trojan save this download complete and the Norton is uh, again analyzing this file and thread found okay here is another Trojan let's download this and let's wait for Norton response nothing so far and there it is and uh, needs attention so I will run this file and let's see what Norton says download inside the file was recently discovered and a few Norton users have download it we recommend not using this file until more is known about it so I will remove this file from my system okay and the last one is Trojan TDSS the worst from this from all these links and um, let's save this and let's wait for Norton and uh, thread found let's view the details Trojan fake AV according to them so um, I'm gonna close all of this and uh, I will run a s quick scan with the Norton and uh, I'll be right back okay people I'm back and uh, Norton found only three tracking cookies which are not a big deal at all so and uh, now I will clean my 10 files and uh, I will run a scan with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes and uh, I'll be back uh, with results so see you in a second alright uh, Hitman Pro completed scanning and it found nothing and uh, neither the Malwarebytes and that's very nice to see so if I open uh, Process Explorer there is nothing in here that seems to be malicious so it looks like um, Norton Sonar removed this one from the memory and um, it looks like Norton did a perfect job so for me this is um, one of the best security suite on the market at the moment so everybody thanks for watching um, please comment rate and subscribe and uh, have a nice day bye bye